ready to pay? Um, the, the... Yeah, let me see the bill. Oh, okay, gotcha. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I got it. No, I'm happy to put in. So good. Oh. I'm all about being an independent woman and pay my own bills, but at the same time, we're on our first date and we're getting ramen, so it's not like we're eating something super expensive and fancy. Actually, not even a lot. Just... Thanks for coming. <laughs> okay. I feel like John should pick up the check for our first date. Is Chivalry dead? Men's friendliness to women has breathed its last, and women need it now, but it is nowhere to be found. Women miss those times and want them back when men were real gentlemen and were willing to make women's lives easier, whether they were strangers or friends. The basic foundation of being friendly is just someone meaning to help the other person have a great day. This friendliness could simply be called chivalry. According to Match.com, 73% of women say that chivalry is dead. The real problem began when women started to reject men's friendliness this is the exact problem in the West. Feminism has rejected men's friendliness and chivalry. Not only that, but it has also thrown that effort right into men's faces. To keep it short, modern women stopped men from being friendly. They killed it. It all started when women began claiming that men's friendliness is sexism. I read something a woman wrote online, and these statements plus the actions that came after it are the reasons why men have stopped being friendly to women. She said she doesn't necessarily appreciate a man who displays friendly qualities toward her based on her gender alone. She would prefer a man who displays those qualities to all people, regardless of gender, age, ethnicity, socioeconomic position, or any other defining factor. If being a real man means not displaying bravery, courtesy, and honor toward those of his own gender, then she hopes they are a dying breed. This piece makes sense to her and feminists like her but the answer to much of the gibberish that modern women say is given by nature and biology. They go like this, hit the wall, and start looking for men who display these friendly characteristics. That's when they start asking where the good men are. The men they were once attracted to, who don't care about being friendly to women and only want them for fun, now become a turn-off for them. The stronger feminism got, the more men stopped being friendly to women. The modern feminist movement isn't about honor and respect towards women. I think it disrespects them. It pushes the absurd idea that women shouldn't accept polite gestures from men because it supposedly oppresses them. So if you're looking for a guy to be a leader, if you're looking for that rock, if you're looking for that gentleman, and he standing there, you walk to the diner, you know, you're going to hang out, well, whatever, diner, fancy five-star restaurant. I don't care. I'm more of a diner girl, so whatever. You get to the front door, and he's just standing there <laughs> looking around. Game over for me. No, because you know that that sit-back guy who's waiting for you, either waiting for you because he doesn't have any authority or any sense of authority or afraid of you because he's afraid, well, I was told not to open doors for women because the modern feminist left told me that they're going to get upset because then it's going to mean that I think they can't open the door for themselves. So I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to wait. Either of those two things, deeply unattractive, deeply unattractive. So if you're looking for that strong guy, you're out, you're out. It's you've already like it's unattractive. It's infuriating that some women are now realizing men don't give a damn about being nice to them anymore. They figured out that their lives would be so much easier if men were just nice to them. Being chivalrous is in our DNA. It's our instinct to guide and protect women. But these women screwed it all up by pushing us away the moment they started demanding equality. They insisted men shouldn't treat them like someone deserving of protection. They wanted to prove they could do everything themselves. How stupid can you get? Why make life harder for yourself just to make a point? Men will go out of their way to be treated nicely. The way we treat each other is completely different from how we treat women. Yet we still want to make life easier for them. All we ask is for women to accept the gift of masculinity, but they throw it back in our faces. They wanted independence and equality so bad, they lost sight of what they were giving up. Now, they're stuck with the consequences of their actions. It's maddening to see women who pushed for all this equality nonsense now whining that men aren't friendly anymore. 
They missed the stress-free life they had when men were eager to help them. But guess what? You can't have it both ways. You wanted equality, you got it. You wanted to show you didn't need our protection. Well, now you don't get it. The day you started rejecting our help, you started this mess. Now you're living with it. Men just want to be nice and make life smooth for women. But they said that wasn't good enough. As soon as men and women were put into positions to compete at work, in relationships, um, economically, politically, I mean, as soon as we were put into positions to compete or we were told that, you know, we're equal, we are just as capable and just as able as men to do just about anything, as soon as it happened, chivalry died. And here's the thing, like, we can't act like there weren't a lot of feminists out there who were making it very clear that chivalry is patriarchal chivalry is essentially assuming that woman is a weaker vessel and that she has to be catered to because she's lesser than and so all of those things i mean that's that's what was being said like we can't deny that and so now you know fast forward decades later and you know really in a post-feminist era where a lot of the things that we were fighting for have indeed been accepted um, that has obviously impacted the dating and mating market and we can't in one breath say that we are equal and we want to be partners and we want to be um, equivalent all across the board and then and another token say that we're upset that guys aren't necessarily opening doors for us anymore or that it seems like guys aren't just necessarily paying or they're not even checking for us like they used to like a lot of those things change as soon as we were put into positions to compete. And I think this is the tension, honestly, that a lot of people are feeling in the dating and mating market where there was so much confusion and quite frankly, a lot of um, a lot of complications around how men and women should even interact with each other. Modern women these days have ruined everything. You can't even be polite without them snapping at you. Try to open a door for them and they'll accuse you of thinking they're incapable. Offer a hand to help them up, and they'll give you attitude. Can't even give a compliment without it being taken the wrong way. What used to be seen as gentlemanly behavior is now offensive because of this equality nonsense. What women used to be taught to appreciate in a man is now considered offensive because of equality, feminism, and independence. Some guy was just being a gentleman on a date, and the girl walked off, telling him she was not a toddler and didn't need him to run the night for her. He was just trying to be chivalrous, but got treated like he did something wrong. You see guys on dates, completely confused about what they're supposed to do. Should they walk ahead and sit at the reserved table, or try to be a gentleman and walk beside her? And God forbid they try to pull out her chair, that's just asking for trouble. These guys end up acting all awkward because they're caught in this damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. It's no wonder they're frustrated and unsure how to act anymore. These women have only themselves to blame. They demanded change, and now they're reaping the consequences. Women in different countries around the world are begging for chivalry and friendliness from men, but Western women are rejecting the very same. Then they dare to complain when men aren't friendly, and when men don't help them with flat tires or other physically demanding tasks. They struggle at work because no man wants to help them out. I saw a video where a woman got hit in the face with a brick and the men around her didn't lift a finger. There are several other videos where women are simply ignored by men, and they watch them as they deal with their issues, some not even paying attention. The girl who got hit by a brick has another video where she proudly proclaimed that women don't need men's protection because they can protect themselves, and these are the reasons why men are no longer nice to women. When reality hits, these women come running to men, forgetting all their garbage about equality. Gone are the days when you could compliment a woman or help her out without knowing her, and she'd accept it with a smile. Now you better not even try. The only women I help anymore are old ladies because they still appreciate kindness and friendliness. That's all for today on manhood. You might also like my previous videos. Don't forget to hit that like button, click the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. Share this video with whoever you would like to watch it. Thanks for watching.